Alright, the other day I posted up a tutorial on how to make a kick drum. So it only seems natural that I now do on how to make a, uh, a snare drum. There's been a few requests for that now, so I will do that. Now, I've already sort of gone ahead again and picked the samples only because it would take a long time and I want to keep it nice and short and simple for you guys. But obviously I'll make it so you can see exactly how each snare and clap sounds as I chose them. Um, obviously you need to have a kick in there. Half, seriously, half the battle for a good snare sound is the kick. Because obviously the kick is laid underneath the snare. So the better, kick, the better the kick you've got, the better the snare you've got. Because the bottom end of the snare sound is going to sound really good. So this is, this is my kick that I use in nearly all of my songs. Okay, that's the kick I've got. So for the snares, this is... Uh, they're just a random, probably a vengeance sample pack, just loaded up in my EXS sampler. Um, sometimes I work with audio, sometimes I work with the MIDI, but I find MIDI quite easy because you can just keep on layering on top of each other. So here we go, here's one uh, that I've got here. That's what it sounds like. So again, same rule as the kick, I go for one low end and one for the high end. That's my low end, and here's my high end. Low end, high end, okay, and you can see, uh, you know, if I was to zoom in here, you can see that I haven't, oh, yeah, I haven't actually put them right on the, you know, on the beat, I haven't quantized them 100%, I've just manually gone in there and moved them slightly before and slightly after the beat, okay. Always try and experiment. Don't put it, everything exactly on the beat or on the bar. Try and move them slightly forward or slightly after. Okay, so if I solo those two, this is my snare sound. Okay, so not too bad, but it'll be it'll sound better once we're finished. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, now my claps. Now with my claps, um, first of all, before I go into them, I always make my claps wide and my snares uh, you know sort of straight up the middle so I always pull up a sample delay and put it on my trusty 513 setting okay I nearly I, I do that with nearly all my claps so if I go into my claps here what do we got this one right here not really that special but you know, they're not as loud as the snares, they sort of just sit on top of the snares. So, uh, if I just solo this, the claps now. And if I just solo the snare with the claps. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. And then we chuck the kick in. Okay, so it's not too bad. Now, just a little bit of processing to make it sound uh, punchy and a lot clearer. Um, if I bring up my mixer, again, okay, so say I wanted to highlight these two, just press shift. Now, they're both going to the output, but we want to send them to the same bus. So, click and hold, go to bus, go to auxiliary one. Okay, now here we are. Auxiliary one, I'll just call this snap. Because it's not a snare and it's not a clap, it's put together and it's a snap. Seems logical. Okay, here we go. So all I do, I don't even I don't even really use that much compression on my snare bus. Yes, when I send my snare bus to a drum bus, there's some compression on that. Um, and I might do another tutorial on just simple drum bus settings. But for my snap, if I just solo this. The main thing I have is an envelope, uh, like a transient shaper, which is just the enveloper and a channel EQ. So if I bring up the enveloper, which I've got first in my chain, okay, you can see I've boosted up the attack by 38%. And uh, to make it a bit snappier and control all the tails of the claps and the snares, I bought the release gain down 22%. So this is how it sounds now. And without. Okay, so you can see, if you use a transient um, shaper, or an enveloper, in Logic's case, 
and you put them on your snare bus, I guarantee you're going to get better snares. This is, I don't know, I, I discovered this maybe four or five months ago, and it's the best thing ever for snares. It just makes the attack all sound really good and punchy, and it just cleans up the um, tails of the claps and the snares really nice. So, um, an enveloper is my best advice. Don't worry too much about compressing it, because otherwise you might get the attack and the release settings wrong, particu particularly the attack, and you know, you might squash the hell out of all the attacks uh, with the snare. You need them to be to be going through the attack, but I don't do a whole lot of compressing on my snare bus anyway. Just on my drum bus, the snare bus. All I do is an enveloper and a channel EQ. Now, I'll, uh, obviously I've got this zoomed in enough. You can see I've boosted it 5.5 dB at 200 hertz because that is where all the meat is of this particular sound and then just for a little bit of presence I always give a little bit at 2000 a little bit at 6000 uh, and a tiny bit of high shelf um, up the up the high end here uh, yeah but mainly this is this is the, the spot where you want to do and if you want to you can roll off some of the low end because obviously you don't want that to be too bad so you can roll off the low end but again 200 is where it's at for the snare sound um, so then this is what we've got now. And if I just bypass those two things. So it's got way more punch and it snaps a whole lot it's you know snapping a whole lot more and it's it's really tidy. And if I put that with the kick again, here's the difference. And I'll take those two plugins out, because I mean that essentially is all the processing I'm doing. It's about choosing the right sample, a high, uh, you know, a high sample and a low sample, and then just send them to a bus, tidy up the attacks and the decays with an enveloper, transient shaper, whatever you've got, and a bit of EQ boosting at those areas. And again, I'll just take those two plugins off and back on. done all right and also um, I am building well not me but uh, I have got a site being built uh, www.ryannz.com check out check over the um, site tell me what you think and uh, yeah so that's gonna be under, under construction basically you can go to it now and that's just gonna be an easy place with some articles and to find all my videos and songs and stuff like that and and whatever so that is on the go as well and I hope this has helped you people out, and there will be more coming. Thanks, guys.